Let's use my fishing. We're on. Yeah, we're on. Oh, what's a better fish? Oh, what's a bad? Good bad. Well, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a little bit of ice fishing on the same pond we were out on last video. Uh, today I've got some more bait, so we're gonna put some tip-ups out, and I'm also gonna jig right here where I was catching those bluegills last time. So let's pop some holes and get fishing. All right guys, now that we've got a couple holes popped, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my little tip-up rigging system. So, got your tip-up here, just a standard wooden tip-up, nothing special. Got some tip-up line on there. To a single treble hook here. I've got two dozen medium shiners with me. Go ahead and grab one of those out of the bucket. All right, so there's your little shiner. Take the treble hook here. See, he's got a little dorsal fin here, just right behind that dorsal fin, just like so. Drop them down the hole. This is about five feet deep here, so we're gonna send it about four and a half feet down. All right, so once that's down there, drop it in. Like so. Most of you guys should know what, what a tip up is really, but if you don't, I'll go ahead and explain it for you guys. So the line is obviously on that spool underneath. Once that line gets pulled, this is gonna spin like that. Flag goes up, I come over, set the hook, fish on. So now there's nothing really left to do except for wait. So see if you can spit. Flag. Spin it, boys. I literally put this tip up down like less than a minute ago. Let's see if we can get her done. Oh yeah, she's on there. Look at that. Look at that spin. I'm just gonna let a little bit more line out. Wait till I feel them. We're on. That did not take long. There we go. Whew. Literally less than a minute into the day, and we already got a little bass. That's awesome. We're gonna get this guy back and try and get a few more. All right, guys. Not a bad little larger to start the day. Let's go ahead and get him back. Well, uh, I think it's safe to say that did not take long. I literally set that tip up, came over here, set this tip up up, and I was just about to like start jigging and sure enough, I look behind me, the flag's up. So good start to the day. Hopefully it's gonna be a good one. Stay tuned. Here we go, fish on. I think this is a bass. Yeah, it's a bigger fish. Oh, he's pulling drag. Oh yeah, this is a nice, probably a bass. That did not take long. Yep, there we go. Well, there we go, fish number two of the day. Not a bad fish, look at that hook set. Right in the middle of his mouth. That is literally a perfect hook set, that's awesome. All right, see you later, buddy. All right guys, so fish number two of the day. That one came jigging, of course. Uh, tip ups are still out over there. Waiting for another flag to go up. I'm gonna get another wax worm on and get back down there and hopefully get another fish. All right, jigging hole number two. Let's see if we can pull some fish out of here. Here we go. Didn't even have to reel. First blue goal of the day. And it's a giant. There we go. Better fish. Oh yeah. Much better blue goal there. Look at that guy. Probably seven or eight, seven or eight incher. Not bad. Pretty thick too. Let's go. They're just loving that jig in the wax worm. Absolute bluegill killer. All right, let's get this fatty back. Well, it feels 
good to get a bigger bluegill off on top of the ice. All right guys, so what I'm doing here is pretty simple. Ice fishing can be super complicated. You can put thousands of thousands of dollars into ice fishing and into your ice fishing gear. But uh, I like to keep it pretty simple. What I've got basically is just a little ice fishing reel and a small jigging ice fishing rod and some like four pound test line on here. I'm not exactly sure. It's four or five pound test. Nothing too super heavy. And then just a little jig on there with a wax worm. But like I said, you can spend thousands of dollars on ice fishing stuff, get live scope, graphs, snowmobiles, um, gas augers, all that sort of stuff. But if you guys want to get into ice fishing, it really is not that expensive. Um, you can start off with just like a pickaxe or a hatchet just to drill your holes rather than buying an auger. Augers aren't too much, they're only like 100, 200 bucks. But if you don't have that money lying around, obviously, oh, there's a fish. going on well got rudely interrupted by that little bluegill there but not complaining there we go but yeah like I was saying um, just keep it simple like I'm out here fishing Illinois little pond obviously if you guys are up north northern Wisconsin Minnesota you're gonna want some more stuff you're gonna need a shanty it's gonna get pretty cold up there but if you're fishing like me in Illinois fishing small ponds you don't need much so if you guys want to get into ice fishing, go to Cabela's, pick up a rod, uh, pick up a sled, maybe a bucket or two, and you're set. So yeah, there's not much you need, just a couple lures, some jigs, and wax worms are key for sure. But yeah, there's a fish. Not a bad bluegill. Gosh, look at how yellow that belly is. That's sweet. It's like glowing. That is such a sick color, dude. That's awesome. The amount of bluegill in this hole is just insane. Like, it's every drop we're getting bit. Oh, that's a better fish. Oh, it's a bass. It's a good bass. Good bass. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that feels better. There we go. There we go. Well, that doesn't really look like a bluegill. That's awesome. Another little bass on the jig. That is sweet. Nice to feel something a little bit bigger than a bluegill. Um, look at that hook set. Again, right in the roof of the mouth. That's just awesome. Probably about a pound, pound and a half. Super healthy fish. We're gonna get them back. So like I said, I don't have my graph. So basically what I'm doing is, well, I will drop my jig all the way down to the bottom like so. I can see where my line starts to get slack and then I can just kind of do this. And I can see that it's about four and a half, five feet deep. I drop it all the way back down, wait till my line gets slack. And then once it's slack, I know that it's on the bottom. I'll give it a few cranks up and I have a fish on. <laughs> there you go. Not a bad bluegill. Um, yeah, it's a perfect example of what I'm doing. I basically just reel it up two, three inches off the bottom and I give it super light, subtle taps and then I feel that fish bite, set the hook and we're on. So pretty simple tactic. Obviously I don't have my graph like I said, but we're still catching fish. We got a fish on. We got a fish on. We got a fish on. I gotta just go check my dead stick and sure enough the rod's bending over. Alright, here we go. Unclip that. Get some line out, tighten the drag. Alright, here goes nothing. Yeah, we're on.
There he is. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's what's been better bass. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth. That's sweet. Well, I guess the minnows are working today. Finally, hooked right in the corner of the mouth on that little treble hook. Pop it right out. There we go. Nice little largey on the dead stick. That's awesome. All right, so there's a nice little look at that fish. Beautiful little bass, probably about a two pounder. Let's slide him back down the hole. See you, buddy. Sick release. Well, uh, took a little bit, but finally got a good minnow to get bit. Um, I was not expecting that. I literally got up to walk over here because I was gonna switch this rod into a different hole, and then sure enough, I see it bent over. My little bell was going crazy. And sure enough, there was a bass on there. So I'm probably gonna get another minnow on here, set that back down and see if it gets bit again. Oh yeah, bigger fish. Oh yeah, that's a bass. Come on now. Let's go. Feels good to be catching fish. That guy's a little funky looking. He's got kind of a hunchback. What the heck? <laughs> you guys see that? What the heck? That thing is built weird. Let's get this uh, hunchback boy back. See you, bud. There we go. Little tiny bluegill. All right, I think this guy might be the last fish of the day. Uh, Again, on that little jig, that thing absolutely slayed him today. We'll go ahead and get this guy back. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, definitely drop a comment, and most definitely hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, myself, at outdoors.bassin. Carter, Patrick, and Quinn, all of us, I'll leave us all linked in the description below. Um, I had fun filming this video for you guys. Hopefully we'll get on a different body of water soon. I know it's kind of repetitive with fishing the same body of water over and over, but that's all I've got for now. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.